You may well be fascinating to speak to, detective, but I charge by the half hour, and I guarantee you couldn't afford me. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I came down here on my own accord to help with your investigation, and you're walking out? I felt lousy power. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Jack isn't scared of you, Phelps. None of us were. We just followed your orders. You're training to be a doctor, Courtney. How do you justify all of these deaths? You're supposed to want to save people. Before you get on your high horse, I saved my fair share in Pele Lu and Okinawa. My conscience is clear. How do you sleep at night? So what are you going to do with your cut, Sheldon? You were probably the bravest man I ever saw. And you were acting like a low coward. I'd ask you not to answer that, dear boy. Do you have any real evidence, detective? You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old unit. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. I came down here on my own accord to help with your investigation, and you're walking out? I've taken quite an interest in Mr. Sheldon, so you can understand why it pains me to see him lambasted unnecessarily. Please, leave us be. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? We finished here, Cole? So Eddie McGoldrick took his cut and bought the 111 Club. I... I don't know what Eddie is doing. How do you think this is going to play out, Courtney? It's either going to be you or Jack. What's this got to do with Jack? Jack would never be involved in anything like this. But you would. He has already denied any wrongdoing. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. 
Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were.